Hi, my name's JJ. In 2021, I decided to buy a 1984 Lance Camper and turn it into a home and mobile recording studio to travel with my dog, Checkers. Why don't you come along the journey as I renovate the camper, make music, and cook amazing plant-based meals on the road. And please, if you enjoy the video, don't forget, thumbs up and subscribe. I have many more videos to come, and as always, thank you for your support. After a few bumpy washes, uh, my truck decided to stop. Okay, had quite the eventful day today in the old Teddy Express camper. I'm currently in uh, Prim, or near Prim, Nevada, at a rest stop. Uh, I stayed in Las Vegas last night, I had a show. And then this morning, got up super early and I wanted to go to Mojave uh, Nature Preserve to go do some kind of off-grid camping. Went to the gas station, filled up the truck, started driving and on Campendium there's this um, boondocking site that I found so I thought I'll go there it's in the middle of nowhere I like going and exploring just doing a little bit of exploring here in the Mojave Desert and I'm coming across all these kind of cool abandoned houses and factories and drove to my campsite what campendium failed to tell me that this campsite was on like a 4x4 trail I had no idea as I was driving through you know to get to the trail uh, you know cell service was at one bar and I've got a 2019 f-150 Ford with a camper on the back and I haven't got springs yet so the the clearance on the back end is pretty pretty tight. I get onto this road and it says in three miles you reach, three three to four miles you reach your destination. Cool. It was a dirt road, I didn't think it was going to be bad. And as I, you know, one way in, one way out, as I started driving it started getting worse and worse and I was like, oh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do here because there's no turning around, it's one track. And with the truck and the camper I can't just do a U-turn because it, the have where they built that road was uh, uh, you know plowed in so there's no way my truck would be able to turn around so my other option would be to reverse down that track which would be impossible or just keep going so I kept on going and as I kept on going it kept on getting worse and worse and worse I was driving like five miles an hour and it was gonna take me an hour to get to this camping spot but I persisted uh, after a few bumpy washes, uh, my truck decided to stop. Just stopped. It wouldn't start up. Uh, I waited a few minutes and I thought, okay, maybe it overheated. The heating was fine. Uh, it would turn over, but it wouldn't start. So I sat there and pondered. I'm in the middle of nowhere. I've got no cell phone service. I've got food for me and checkers to last for at least a week or two. I got firewood, I got the camper, I got water, I got some wine, I got tequila. I can I can figure something out. If I need to hike somewhere to get cell phone service, then so be it. And out of nowhere, my angels appeared. Jim and May, a lovely couple um, who were camping in the spot that I was camping at. Um, they uh, showed up in the time when I thought I was done for and they, um, we found out that I actually punctured my fuel tank. There's a hole, hole the size of a penny. Um, Jim's lovely wife, May, gave me a uh, wine cork to puncture the hole, to, to uh, plug the hole. Here's the wine cork. And uh, I had you know, a couple gallons of reserve gas to fill my tank up to at least get me out. So Jim and May 
um, you know, followed me out and then they followed me to where my car stopped again because I ran out of gas and they drove me to the gas station and drove me back to my truck. So um, without Jim and May, I would not be here or I, I wouldn't definitely be here where I am right now. But uh, nevertheless, I punched a hole in my fuel tank and uh, I need to take it to a Ford dealership. Uh, nothing's open today or tomorrow, so I have to wait till Monday. I'm gonna stay here at the rest stop, but the joys of RV life. Thank you, Jim and May. Uh, you, you two are my angels, and I owe you a couple bottles of wine. <laughs>